Hello dear children, welcome back to your math class. In the previous classes, uh, we have learned uh, the topics uh, reflection and symmetry. Yes, reflection and symmetry. Okay, what is reflection? Yes, when an object is placed in front of our mirror, we see its image. The image is called the reflection. And reflection can be seen in mirror, uh, water, oil, shiny surfaces. Extra. Okay. And then two types of line of reflection. Vertical line of reflection and a horizontal line of reflection. And the image formed by the vertical line of reflection is called the mirror image. The image formed by the horizontal line of reflection is called the water image. Okay. Then symmetry, symmetrical figures means an object. An object is divided into two halves. If each half are exactly the same, that type of figures are called symmetrical figures. Example, our body, our face, okay, is an example of a symmetrical figures and the line and uh, the line that we divide the object into two halves that line is called the line of symmetry and but in some objects we divide some object but the two halves are not exactly the same such type of figures are called asymmetrical figures we mm? can draw different uh, lines of symmetry means different objects have different line of symmetry some object have only one line of symmetry some object more than one line of symmetry so we can draw the line of symmetry vertically horizontally and also diagonally okay in english alphabet some le some letters are symmetrical letters and some letters are asymmetrical letters okay so that are the topic that we discussed in the previous classes okay so in this class we are going to discuss the next topic that is tessellation hmm? tessellation this is not a new term for you because hmm, this we already learned from this third standard yes what is tessellation okay children what is tessellation just recall it what is tessellation yes area area or field or covered using a tile of particular shape leaving no gaps or overlaps uh, this process is called tiling or tessellation mm, the area or field or covered using tile of a particular shape leaving no gaps or overlaps and that process is called tiling or tessellation means that the tessellation is a pattern is a pattern of shapes that fit together with no gaps or overlaps okay so different uh, then you also we study different uh, tessellating shape uh, square mm, uh, rectangle hexagon mm, then triangle uh, these are all examples of tessellating shape i uh, means using that shape we can make a tessellation and uh, but circle oval extra non tessellating means if you make if you draw if you means using circle uh, yes this way uh, if you make it using join together we get this way so there are feel some gaps so this circle oval extra are non tessellating shapes okay now can we see this tessellation yes we can see uh, now cotton a uh, pavement then on floor yes on food path extra we can see different designs of different types of tessellation okay now here two examples of tessellation first these two are two examples of a tessellation so in this first tessellation yes first tessellation and this tessellation here we formed using two shapes this tessellation is formed using two shapes which are the forming I mean two shapes are repeating this tessellation what are the two shapes yes it is a triangle and a Square. Two shapes are repeating this. That is triangle and a square. Okay. So, these shapes are called the basic shape of that tessellation. Means the shape or group of a shape that repeating that tessellations are called the 
basic shape. So in this tessellation, that's one rectangle is repeating. Huh? But color is different, that's no problem. Okay? Colors are different. Here this one, uh, one uh, this uh, triangle is uh, green color, but one some triangle is white color. Here one right, uh, square is blue, but some white. But we use only that we just take that on shape. Eh? But color is different, that's no problem. Okay, here but only that one rectangle is repeating. So the basic shape of this tessellation is rectangle. The shape or group of shape that repeating that tri the tessellation is called the basic shape of that tessellation. Okay, but in some tessellation only one basic shape, but in some tessellation more than some tessellation is, tessellation is formed more than two basic shape. In this example, there are two in this tessellation two basic shape one uh, triangle and a square and here in this tessellation what rectangle this tessellation is formed using a rectangle and that is the basic shape of this rectangle is repeating no so the basic shape is rectangle so that is the tessellation and yes tessellation yes in this tessellation here in this tessellation that one basic that basic shape is written in this tessellation also the basic basic shape is repeating so this type of tessellation is called the periodic tessellation hmm? periodic tessellation periodic tessellation means that is the definition means the tiling pattern means the tessellation has a repeating pattern is called the periodic tessellation. So, you use the same, the basic shapes are repeating. So, that type of tessellation is called the periodic tessellation. And another type of tessellation is a periodic tessellation. What is a periodic tessellation? If you know, if you understand this tess periodic tessellation, you can easily what is a periodic tessellation. A periodic tessellation or non-periodic tessellation. Another name is non-periodic tessellation. Hmm? A periodic tessellation or non-periodic tessellation means the tessellation that is the tessellation that does not have a repeating pattern. Eh? Tessellation that does not have a repeating patterns are called the a periodic tessellation or non-periodic tessellation. But the same shape is repeating. I mean, there is a repeating pattern is called the periodic tessellation. And all the periodic tessellations are symmetrical figures. So these are examples of a symmetrical symmetric tessellation. Okay, all periodic tessellations are symmetrical. Figures. Okay, then so many examples are given in the test book. Yes, some examples in our uh, yes arrays of hexagonal cells in honeycomb. Yes, very good examples of a uh, tessellation for the notch hmm? honeycomb. Yes, a classic example of a tessellation in notch honeycomb is a classic example of um, tessellation in notch. See, so many examples also given in the test book. These all are examples of a Periodic tessellation. Okay, using what this style, uh, one type using this style, we can make different designs of tessellation. Okay, so these are our examples of a periodic tessellation. And in this, so in this mainly in this topic, you have to study what is the basic type, shape of the tessellation. Means which shape is repeating? No, that is the basic shape of the tessellation. Which shape is repeating? No, that is the basic shape of that tessellation okay so that is tessellation two type of tessellation periodic tessellation and a, a periodic tessellation tessellation that has a repeating pattern is called the periodic tessellation tessellation that does not have a repeating pattern is called the a periodic or non periodic tessellation the shape or a group of shape that repeat is called the basic shape. Means which shape we use to form the tessellation that is the basic shape of the pattern. Clear? Now let's discuss the workbook questions. Hmm? 
so children take your workbook open it take page number 15 15 page number 15 question number 17 question number 17 17 okay miss will read the question so you can get touch book is the given tiling pattern periodic or non periodic periodic tessellation means the pattern is repeating means the basic shapes are repeating non periodic means that pattern that is basic shapes are not repeating so one example one tessellation is given that is one flower type uh, that is basic shape are one flower and a diamond okay so in that tessellation that same shape is repeating so it is a periodic tiling pattern uh, so example of a periodic tiling pattern mm, see so a periodic tiling pattern okay next question number 18 create a tiling pattern using a square and a rectangle create a tiling pattern using square and a rectangle okay simply we can easily refer that one square or was we draw a one box so anyway you can okay i using a square or uh, means the basic shapes are square and a rectangle okay divide it no this way okay one square one rectangle one square one rectangle then one one rectangle one square one rectangle so this way we can draw the we can make the tessellation using that square and the rectangle anyway this is just an example anyway you can uh, make using your imagination but the basic shapes are rectangle and a square okay next question number 19 what are tessellation what are they used for give one example so tessellation is the process of filling a surface leaving no gaps or overlaps using a tiles of plain shape tessellations are decorative patterns on floor uh, pavements roofs of historical monuments and so on example the arrays of hexagon cells in a honeycomb uh, give an example examples means the hexagon cells in a honeycomb so that is an example of a tessellation okay next question number 20 there are four tessellate four examples of a four examples are given hmm? find and draw the basic shape in each of the following tessellation uh, draw the basic shape a uh, basic shape no which what is the basic shape which shape is repeating no shape uh, or a group of shape the repeating that tessellations are called the basic shape so in the first first uh, first tessellation which shapes are repeating yes we can see one triangle uh, so the basic shapes are one triangle is there then Uh, which is the next shape one more shape which is the s yes, triangle and a hexagon triangle and a hexagon that are the hexagon s yes, triangle and a hexagon are the basic shape of that basic shape of that tessellation means the triangle and hexagons are repeating so the basic shapes are triangle and a hexagon next question number b question number b the basic shape the basic shape are you can easily find out by yes one triangle is third a uh, s yes, one red color triangle also but yellow color but triangle no so just draw only one triangle and and a square so the basic shapes are triangle and a square a uh, the basic shape of that uh, tessellation is triangle and a square and question number c yes what are the basic shape in that given tessellation okay so look in that tessellation yes we can see a square yes in that tessellation we can see square shape then two more shapes are there what are that yes one hexagon is there one hexagon one hexagon okay also one more shape what is that yes and a triangle so three basic shapes are these three shapes are repeating 
and so all these tessellations are periodic mean the same shapes are the same patterns repeating so the basic shape in the third tessellation see that is a square hexagon and a triangle and question number d what are the basic shape only one basic shape that is a diamond a one basic shape d has only one basic shape that is diamond so the basic shape means basic shape of a tessellation tessellation means shape or a group of shape the repeat is called the basic the repeat shapes or a group of shape that repeats are called the basic shape of the tessellation okay just look there so you can easily find out the basic shape of the tessellation next form tessellation using the given shapes and color them so that is your homework you have to do so the first question first using two type of triangles are given so using that two triangles you can make a tessellation second one one uh, symbol is given this like a means hospital symbol this like no yes using this like sh shape make a tessellation and next question number 22 draw and color the following tessellation use arrows and create tessellation use triangles and create a tessellation okay so that you have to do in your workbook space is given no do that two questions 21 and 22 in your workbook okay other question answer miss will send through in google classroom that question answers you copy in your workbook okay this only in this chapter shapes one more topic is the perspective of object that we'll discuss with second chapter patterns don't worry we'll discuss with second chapter with second chapter patterns so in this chapter shape you study the geometrical terms circle in its part symmetry and reflection also the tessellation okay very simple chapters so complete your notes workbook all test workbook activities and test book activities okay